Okay, hi there Scorpios, my loves, my darlings, my beauties, um, how are you all? I hope you've had a fantastic week. I apologise, uh, I know I'm a couple of days late here with your reading. Um, I've had some technical issues, um, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's all sorted out now. So, um, let's get on with your weekly love read. So, we're just going to put this out there to the universe, to the spirit guides. We're going to ask what messages you need to know in love this week. So, this could be with regards to the person that you've tuned in for. This could be with regards to new love, um, what's coming in in love. We're just going to put that out there and ask that. Thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, Subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. It does help me tune in to your energies. Um, and um, yeah, let's have a look what cards you got. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> See, now this one fell out. So, okay, we love this card. This is the sun. Okay, this is beautiful energy. Maybe having a nice, quiet, peaceful week here. Um, signs that if the sign of your person comes out all the better. If not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It could be pointing at the timings. Um, so just bear that in mind here. So we do have Leo energy with the sun. We've got some earth energy with that two of coins there. We've got Virgo. Look at that lovely Virgo. And we also have water energy quite strong. So you are, you've shown up in your reading. We've also got, um, cancer and the lovely Pisces as well. So, um, kind of a, a, a nice mixture. Now, lovely, looking at this, I feel like you've entered a lovely phase here, nice, peaceful, harmonious, kind of getting yourself to a good place here. Now, this is great when you're looking to have a soulmate come in, when you're trying to manifest that um, energy. It's the universe needs to know you're in a good place, needs to know you're ready for it. And I feel like you are. So we have here some messaging coming in. You could be feeling really happy. You could be hearing from someone you haven't heard for a while, or you could just be messaging somebody new. I kind of get the sense here that this is a new person for a lot of you. I'm not picking up on any um, uh, past person energy here. I feel like we have a new person. So bingo, if you are looking for a new love here, I feel like you've got it because look, we have these two characters here. We've got the King of Cups and we have the Hermit. Now, as much as I love these guys, these are awesome characters, but when they come out like this, it, I feel almost like they're in competition. Um, so yeah, you could have some new options, some choices here in love um, for you. You've got one person here who is very quiet, very introverted. And then you've got another person here who is very shy and very non-committal. Oh my gosh, yeah, we got non. I feel like they both sort of appear to be the same when you're messaging them. This sort of very non-committal energy seems to be coming from both of them. I feel like you've got one person here who just maybe just doesn't want to be out, doesn't want to be doing anything. With this King of Cups out, I feel like he's a bit more sneaky. He's a bit more sly, okay? So this could be someone like on the social media. Um, and this could be someone that you know in real life. Um, or you could know both of them in real life. I keep hearing dating app. Uh, dating app, dating app. So you could be, you know, just being nice and optimistic and putting yourself out there. And that's lovely. Um, but I feel like we've got a very sneaky um, couple of characters here that might be coming towards you this week. Look at this. Yeah, two of cups literally just fell out for you. <laughs> Amazing. So two of cups, this is a beautiful energy. It's actually very attractive. Um, you know, it's a really strong attraction to a person. Sometimes you, this is work energy as well. So you might encounter this person in a workplace setting, um, or they might do a similar job to yours, or work in the same field, something like that. But there is a work connection here for you. Um, I am, I just heard the word coffee, like you want to get some coffee or, you know, like asking you for coffee. Um, hopefully they're not asking you for coffee. Like, oh my God, get your own coffee. <laughs> you want to take me out? Don't come over and demand that I take you out. Although I will say when my husband, um, uh, approached me, uh, he, he wanted to know, basically I gave him a reading and he wanted to know how he could repay me. And I said he could take me out for a drink. And that's how we started dating. Um, so sometimes you gotta, you gotta tell them, you gotta tell them what you want. You gotta tell them what to do. 
Um, and interestingly, he's actually, he's a Virgo. He's one of these hermit characters here. So perhaps a little bit shy. Um, so yeah, that's just my story. <laughs> um, so let's see, what else does Scorpio need to know in love this week, please? What else does Scorpio need to know in love this week, please? Oh, we're stopping there. Thank you. Wow, okay, so seeing this card a lot the last few days, we've got the Ten of Wands. So it looks like this is energy is going to be impacting you this week in terms of your love life. Um, <clears throat> so this is very much a overburdened energy. Almost like, do you know what? I'm burnt out now. I'm exhausted of trying. I'm exhausted of putting myself out there. I don't really want to be doing that anymore. I want to, um, you know, recall, reclaim my energy a little bit, you know. Uh, put some of those wands down. You don't need to be carrying them all. Um, you've got, yeah, moving on to a more peaceful time. This could indicate also, I feel like we've got travel here. This could be someone that's at a distance to you. But I feel like you're just wanting to concentrate on your own peace and happiness here this week. Um, but yeah, it's like a moving on energy. So you could, with that as well, just be looking to get that new person, that new love interest in your life. And I feel like you're going to get one this week. Um, <laughs> so that's really nice. Look, Seven of Swords. I said, didn't I? We've got a sort of a manipulative type energy here. This uh, King of Cups and Hermit energy coming through. Somebody here is, uh, you know, maybe being a little bit sneaky, a little bit manipulative here around you. I'm just going to see... Um, Mm, sorry, I'm just getting here like a, a very sweet taste in my mouth. It's sort of like it's it's chocolatey. I can't pinpoint exactly what chocolate that is, um, but um, yeah, I've, I feel like I need to say to you guys, treat yourself this week, okay? Um, you know, don't worry about the healthy eating. Don't worry about the diets. If you want to have a treat, you treat yourself um, because, you know, at the end of the day, life is too short, like you blink your eyes and it's gone so you might as well enjoy yourself while you're here eh um make the most of things and i think this is probably why you're not really connecting with these energies because i get such an uplifting vibe from you guys this week um that you know just wanting to be really positive and upbeat and you know what life is good life is too short and you've got these two characters here that's sort of coming along sort of laurel and hardy type characters maybe don't really know what they want and kind of feel like it's messing you around a bit mm, yeah so uh, the word i used uh that came to mind earlier was cavalier cavalier I feel like, yeah, these, these people here, they seem a little bit cavalier. It's a nice way of saying player, isn't it? Um, I don't think they are players. They're just coming across that way because they're just not, um, you know, saying one way or the other what they want. They're keeping you on a string here. They're keeping you on a hook. Um, so, yeah, take some time for you. Spoil yourself a bit. Enjoy life. Don't wait on them. No, no, don't wait on them. Because one day you'll look back and you'll think, why on earth did I do that to myself? Um, so, awesome stuff. Again, we've got a, a few signs here today with um, choices and options in love. But I have to say yours seems to be like it's giving me the most buzz. Okay, Scorpios. <laughs> So thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, guys, that was your reading for this week. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Thank you for watching till the end. Take care of yourselves. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, abundance for the week ahead. And um, I will see you in your next read. And subscribe.